Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi friends, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Today, we're going to be going over a bunch of stuff with fractions. Now we're saying, wait, wait a minute Mr. Woods, we've already done some fractions. Well, I'm going to have more examples, not only of what a fraction is, but also actual problems that you may encounter in math class. So let's get to work. First, let's take a look at this. We're working on some concepts here. And what we have here is that we have a circle and it's divided in half. And we have a rectangle that's divided in half. So what we can say is we have one circle and one rectangle. Look at that. Other way to represent it, let's see here, I can do this and say this is one. But wait, how many pieces are there? Well, in that rectangle, there's one, two pieces. And in the circle, this is, I'm just going to say, that's one whole, put one up here. This is one, and this is two. There's two pieces, right, for each of them. Now, here's the kicker. If I shade in this part of the circle, look at that, I'm just kind of shading it in. Now, how many pieces of that circle are shaded in? Well, there's one piece is shaded in of two pieces, which makes it one half. But this is one, that's only one half. So what could that mean is that one half plus this half is equal to one whole. Makes sense. Same thing over here. If I just shade in this part of that rectangle, and I say, how many pieces of that rectangle are not shaded in? That will be one half. And if I say, what's the entire, that whole? Well, it's one half plus one half, which is equal to that one whole rectangle. Let's see it another way. Here's another example I have here. Now, I have this circle divided up into one, two, three, four. Let's just label that. One, two, three, four pieces. And my rectangle is in one, two, three. Now they're both one whole. This is one whole circle and this is one whole rectangle. So for this circle, if I shade in, that's one whole, one of all those four pieces, that's one quarter. Whoa. We're going to get to something else here soon. Then I have one, two, three, that's one whole, but what if I shade in this one piece? That would be one of one, two, three, of one of three. But wait, there's more. If I shade in this piece, and I say how many pieces are shaded in, then that would be one fourth plus one fourth, which is equal to now remember how we added up those fractions that had the same denominator? Well, we would have that same denominator here, put two. But wait, doesn't that shaded in look similar to this here? Yes, it does. So therefore, two fourths is equal to one half. But how could that be? Huh. Well, if I have one twos here, so there's one twos, how many twos are here? There's two twos, one half. Let's move on to solving some problems. So here we have this rectangle, and the rectangle is broken up into three different pieces. One, two, three. And there's that one. So it's one third plus one third plus one third equals one whole. We can use a number bond to show the same thing. Because remember, this is going to be that sum of these pieces. 
So one third plus one third plus one third, we add the numerators and put it up here. Add the or we don't add the denominators, we just have that as the bottom. So this right here, that equals three over three. Just remember that. Would it, if you have a, uh, an equal part or more of the denominator and as part of the numerator, you at least have one whole. So let's solve a problem. And what we want to do is we want to create a number sentence and uh, a number bond for this right here. So we see here we have one whole. We have one, two, three, four pieces that are shaded in, and there's that other piece that isn't. So let's label this. Let's go here. So here we go. That's one, two, three, four. So five. Huh. So that's these are fifths. That's going to give us our denominator. So right here it shows, hey, we want to show this plus this. What is that answer to that? So we have one. That's going to be one. Fifth, and then we have one, two, three, plus three fifths is equal to, and we know the denominator is a fifth, or five. We add the numerators, one plus three is four, so that that number sentence is correct for this diagram. Let's look at it another way. With that number bond, draw a circle, I am going to have one fifth, and I'm going to have three fifths. And again, it's going to be one fifth plus three fifths is equal to, we add the numerators, that's four, and we have the same denominator, that's five, four fifths. Now let's look at another example, and this time I just want to do a number sentence, and it's a little bit different, so we have one whole, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But take a look at all of this here. We have one and two. Ooh, wait a minute. So we have eights, so that's going to be an eight. We have one, two, two eights plus one, two eights plus one, two eights. Now, how many eights is that? Well, you can look at how we numbered this here in this tape diagram, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that will be equal to six eighths. So you can look at the, count it up on the tape diagram, or you can say two plus two plus two, that's two, and two, four, plus two more is six. Same denominator, there's that eight. We can do the, show the same thing with a number bond as well. A big circle, and I can just do this, two eighths, two eighths, two eighths. I know it's going to be eighths. Two plus two is four, plus two more is six. Boom. Now, we're going to ratchet it up a little bit. In the last video, I went into mixed numbers. Remember what a mixed number is? It's a whole number plus a fraction put together. So, this looks a little bit different because it has one whole, but wait a minute. Huh. It shows it here, ending here. So this is that one whole. So I have one, two, three, four. This appears to be the same size, okay? So what, what do you think that could be? So if this is one, two, three, four, and I have one, two, three, so that would be three over four plus one over four. And remember that three plus one is four over four, and four over four is equal to one whole when the numerators match. So I would assume that this is equal to one fourth. Hmm. Now how do we write that out? How do we do that? Well, we could say that that's equal to five fourths, but we want to have a mixed number, okay? So, that is equal to, so there's one four, so this is equal to four plus one, right here. So four over four is one, so that's one whole, 
and then we can say plus 1 over 4, which is equal to 1 and 1 fourth. You can draw a number bond for, to show that as well, but I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, let's go to our, these next problems here. Now, one of the things I want to point out uh, for all of these problems is just let's just take a look at this. Look at this. The denominators are the same here. The denominators are the same here. The denominators are. So we're not doing anything special with that other than just we're adding fractions and making whole numbers and possibly some uh, mixed numbers in there too. So let's take a look. I'm going to change my color. So. Okay, let's solve these problems. So 5 sevenths is equal to 2 sevenths plus 2 sevenths plus 1 seventh. What we want to do is I want you to pause the video and create tape diagrams or number bonds. So it's going to say, show the same thing. I've proven that. I've shown that. And it's not the way that you show it. It's the way that you're more comfortable with showing it. Okay? Number bond, tape diagram, uh, however you want to do it to show that principle of having those fractions. I'm going to go with the tape diagram because I only have so much space. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram. So here's my tape. I need to break it up into sevenths. Okay, so there's, uh, let's see here, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But wait, I need to show two sevenths plus two sevenths plus one seventh. Okay, so there's, that's two sevenths, another two sevenths. And that's one seventh. So two plus two is equal to four plus five is e I'm mean plus one, made a mistake, equals five sevenths. I want you to complete the rest. However, let's take a look at these down here real quick. So it shows a mixed number is equal to one whole plus one third, which is one piece or one third of a whole. One and two fifths is equal to 1 plus 2 fifths. Pause the video, see if you can do that tape diagram. I'm going to do one for you right here. So let's take a look. Okay. So, and end. I'm going to do it up here. So there's my 1. Okay, that's my whole. And this is equal to 1. Third. If I shade that in, that would be one, two, three, three thirds plus one third is equal to four thirds, and four is equal to three plus one, and we know that threes over three is equal to one, and then we have one over three is one third. I could have expanded it out with this here, but to save space, I wanted to do that. Now it's up to you to create your own problems. Um, go out and explore and see what you can find that are broken up into pieces. You can use other things, such as this here. Let me move this out of the way. Where I showed that, here we go. I have these, uh, if we can look at this, we could say, oh, well, wait a minute. This is one, two, three, four, five. If we say these are not filled in. It's like the, my, the blues are my blanks. So I'd have two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds. Hmm. How do we make holes? Let's just do this. There's one hole. There's two holes. So I have one, two, three, and a third. Let's write it out. So I had one, two, three, four, let's see here, five thirds. So I had one third, 
I'm sorry, I had two thirds, because it was two, so it was two thirds plus two thirds plus two thirds plus two thirds plus two thirds. And that's going to equal to two, and two is four, plus two is six, plus two is eight, plus two is ten. So I have ten thirds. You can write out ten thirds. Well, ten, this right here, is equal to three plus three plus three plus one. Right, so follow me so far. So that is equal to three thirds plus three thirds plus three thirds plus one third. Okay, see how I expanded that out? Now we can say that that is equal to one plus one plus one plus one third, which is equal to one, two, three, and one third. And what do we have here? One, two, three, and one third. That's it for today, boys and girls. And remember to watch, learn, share, and subscribe. Make a great day.